I'd like to start our conversation focusing on experiential learning. I was really impressed um, actually visiting the Gabelli School at Roger Williams University. I learned that you take a very uh, innovative approach to experiential learning. And uh, there's something known as the Center for Advanced Financial Education, or CAFE, mm -hmm. that really, uh, for me, was an eye-opener. I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about uh, the center, about CAFE, and its impact on your students and on your community and those that you serve. Uh, the CAFE program is really the marquee experiential learning program at the Gabelli School of Business, and we're, it's something we are extremely proud of. It's been in existence now for about 11 years, so we were kind of a first mover in the area of establishing a student investing fund. And our students are working uh, in, in investing two separate funds one using a value approach, which of course is that espoused by Mario Gabelli, and another using a more general instructional approach. And we are uh, very proud of our students because for every year since 2008, they've beat the Dow Jones. I don't know how they're doing today, uh, <laughs> but they've had a very good run with investing. It's a unique program in a couple of respects that I'd like to mention. And one is that the students are really making the decisions. They have a, a trading account. They buy and sell. They don't make decisions and then vet them through three layers of faculty hmm. or advisors. Wow. So they really have a very personal stake in this. And the other part of it is that they travel every semester abroad. Uh, every semester mm -hmm. they go to uh, another country, uh, they present their research methodologies and strategies, they share ideas with other professional investors around the world, they visit graduate schools of business and undergraduate schools of business and talk with faculty, and basically spread the good word about what experiential learning is in the finance area at the Gabelli School. And I think more than a few programs have grown from those exchanges around the world, which is really satisfying to us. It's fantastic. The international dimension, I think, is quite unique. And we talk about you know the world of finance, and it is is truly a global uh, dimension. But that must add significantly, I would assume, to the process. Uh, it adds learning. very significantly yes. to the process. Yes. And we have a whole network of alumni who have been through the program, and mm. all of whom uh, are working in the financial services industry, almost to a person. And when they come <laughs> back for their reunions every year and talk about the program, that is what they identify as the singular experience having gone abroad, talked with others in the financial services industry in other countries, whether they're uh, traveling to Tokyo or whether they're traveling to uh, Dubai or traveling to Scotland or the UK, they've been everywhere pretty much in the world at this point. And they always come back energized, excited, uh, ready to try new ideas, and with a lot of new friends that they maintain over the course of their careers. With the networking pieces, uh, you know, I think about you know, a, a, a student who's, who's eager and and ready to start their career, and they have a chance to connect with very impressive individuals and organizations, and what that does for their careers as they're starting out, to have that embedded network as part of the program. That's fantastic. It is yes. fantastic, yeah. and they speak mm. very highly of it, and they're networks that they use, and mm. obviously we're yeah. living in a very global business environment, and our students are traveling all over, and it's a great way for them to maintain those connections and really take a deep dive into what it's like to be a business practitioner somewhere other than New York or Boston or LA, mm. which is a real valuable experience for them.